Hi, this is Oriana Shea with the Oriana Shea Group, and I'm here to talk to you about preparing your home for the market. So you're ready to sell your home and move on. The last thing you want to do is spend money to spruce the place up. After all, whoever buys it is going to want to pick their own paint colors and redo the kitchen and bathrooms the way they want to, right? Wrong. The reality is that most buyers simply can't visualize what a space could look like. Buyers assign dollar values to minor cosmetic repairs that typically way exceed what the actual cost would be, which means lower offers. So here are my top suggestions to help you sell for the highest possible price. And yes, I promise you, it's worth it. Number one, look at the front of your house from the curb. Is the grass dried out? Do you have tired looking or dead plants? Are there bare spots in your landscaping or overgrown shrubs? Curb appeal is the buyer's first impression. Did you know that a lot of buyers drive by prospective homes first before they decide to schedule an appointment to see the inside? So get that grass looking green again, trim things up, and plant some fresh shrubs and blooms. Create a welcoming ex experience from the outside for a prospective buyer. Number two, paint the walls. If they are dirty, tired looking, or the colors are very specific, then absolutely I suggest painting. A fresh coat of paint goes a long way. Stick with contemporary neutrals. I'm not a big fan of white or cream because that can make a space feel cold or less updated. If it's a really modern home, then white is great. Don't stress as we can help you pick out the right paint colors. Number three, shine up the floors. Unless you have wood floors that are severely damaged or worn and stained, it doesn't make sense to have them refinished. You can have them buffed and polished for not a lot of money. Number four, spruce up the bathrooms. Again, paint can go a long way in here too. Painting the cabinets and putting some new knobs in hardware can completely transform an old vanity. Replace broken or missing tiles and recock moldy areas or regrout stained and missing grout. Small improvements like replacing old fixtures and mirrors can also go a long way. Do you have one of those cool pink or blue bathtubs? An easy fix there is to have them reglazed. As long as it's in good shape, this is a really cost-effective fix. Number five, update the kitchen. While we all know that remodeled kitchens help homes sell faster and at a higher price, it's possible to turn a dated kitchen into an updated one without having to gut it or break the bank. Same principle that I mentioned for the bathrooms works here too in regards to painting the cabinets and replacing old dated knobs and fixtures. Replacing a countertop and backsplash can also go a long way and may be more affordable than you think with the, with the right resources. What about those old appliances? Most real estate professionals would agree that replacing them will add more value to your home. Stainless steel appliances can be purchased very reasonably nowadays and completely transform your kitchen. Number six, clear the clutter. I tell my sellers that they are going to be packing and moving at some point, so why not start going through and purge what you don't need now? What you don't realize is that while you have enjoyed looking at the collage of framed photos on the wall and tabletop, this is what distracts buyers when they're going through your home. Coffee tables, kitchen and bathroom counters, windowsills, and even refrigerator doors should be cleared of personal items, photos, plants, and tchotchkes. Remove all magnets from the refrigerator doors. You want to declutter and make the focus about the room and not about your collectibles. Think about new construction and model homes. They are beautifully decorated to accentuate the space so the buyer can mentally move in. They won't do that if they're distracted by a lot of stuff. Bookcases oftentimes turn into the cabinet or closet without doors. A bookcase should have at least 40 to 50% of open space on each shelf and not be cluttered with books and knickknacks. Number seven, do a deep cleaning. Wash the windows, or at, least, or at the very least, the ones in the front of the house or the ones leading to the backyard. Clean the dust and grime that has collected on the blades of your ceiling fans, baseboards, the tops of frames, and other surfaces. One thing that will turn a buyer off really fast is a dirty house or a house that has pet or other odors. Remember, 
you only get one shot at a great first impression. So if you're thinking of selling your home, give us a call and let us help. We can help you prepare your home, pick out the paint colors, and we can oversee all of it for you if you are too busy or if you don't live in the area. Thanks so much for watching, and this is Oriana Shea.